Hello, beautiful Scorpios. This is a new love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Hope everyone's doing well. Welcome to everyone. So at the bottom of the deck, your energy is the Justice card, Libra energy. Look at that. You want to be married. You're thinking even in such detail that some of you would think about a prenuptial agreement. It looks as though there could be somebody in your work environment. You're not really telling anybody. You're moving forward with stealth speed. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor, Scorpio. What are you up to? Let's see. We're going to cut the deck here and see what we have. Okay. So in the recent past, the death card. Scorpio, there you are in your reading. You have really come through the fires. You are the phoenix rising in the ashes. Look at the beautiful flowers of growth. You've been doing a lot of growth since your last relationship. You're virtually not the same person you were the last time you were in a significant relationship. Right now, you're in the Four of Cups energy. So, you know, just feeling frustrated, feeling like, oh, is the sun ever going to come out again? Um, that Four of Cups energy is Cancerian energy. So right now, you need to do something to lift your spirits. It's a very, it's a tough vibration, but look at spirit is right over here holding the umbrella. But you notice the only place there is rain is under the umbrella. So that is something that, you know, really needs to be addressed for new love to come in. Look at this Cancerian energy. The Cancer Queen, loving deeply. So you have someone around you that sees you and sees you as potentially the person they want to be with. Um, this could be a Cancerian person, somebody who's very nurturing, very kind, very family oriented, but also very balanced. The way you are viewed, look at you, Scorpio. You are looking very fine. Fine as wine, my friends. You have a beautiful hat, you have a beautiful parakeet, and you have a beautiful set of earrings. I want the earrings. That's what I want. But look at this energy. You're really very self-sufficient. You don't need anybody. Nobody really, you know, nobody can give you anything that you can't give yourself, and you're not looking for it, which then frees you up. Now, in this space, the heart space, that is all about how you're attracting we get the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords is a thief, quite honestly. This is a snake that has stolen the eggs all, you know, in a basically camouflage of flowers. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just here in your garden taking all the crop, but don't mind me. I'm cute. So I would say that you have to be very careful. Okay, so the lookout for the future is a page of pentacles. Right now, for many of you, you are not focused on really getting new love. You're very focused on yourself, your money. You are also focused. The good news is, is that with the seven of swords, you know, you could also, this could be lying to yourself, but you are going to be on the lookout because in the past, you're sad because you have had a liar or a somebody who was dishonest with you in a relationship and it looks as though that was a relationship that came to an end what this is telling me is that for many of you you're not over an old wound okay what's hidden here is that you've walked away to a place that's far more magical look at the beautiful journey that this beautiful ladybug is on you're very you're standing in your power by yourself you're really sure that until you get the love you want, you're going to be on the lookout for people who would take you down or make you just feel sad. Spirit is recommending that you allow people, multiple people, to compete for your attention. Five of Wands. What we have here for your outcome for this week is self-imposed restriction. So you're not really in the mood right now Again, the uh, Venus and Virgo will go into, uh, excuse me, Venus goes into Virgo in a couple of days here. And so I see this as a very temporary sort of a situation where you feel as though you, you know, you really are not moving forward in your love life at all. You know what you want, you are defining what you want, and you are finding your own place in your own happiness. 
So let's see what we have here for the Justice card. Why is it here? Tell us why the Justice card is here. Eight of Cups. Yep, you walked away from something that was very unfair. And we see it again here. However long ago this was, though, it looks like it's been a bit of time here, Scorpio. Because you've gone through this transformation. The Queen of Swords cut somebody out. We have the Justice and the Queen of Swords are both Libra. You left something behind. Uh, I still feel, though, that this could be energy from a while ago. For some of you, this is not a brand new situation. We have the High Priestess. You intuitively know the direction that you have to head. I'm seeing right now that you're wanting to take care of yourself. You're not really wanting to deal with anybody else. You know, the energy here really speaks to the fact that you feel as though there are liars and cheats out there and that you really have not gotten the benefit of the truth. Okay, so what do we have here? Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? You want a victory. Without a victory, you're unwilling to go forward and really, um, you know, to put yourself out. You're just not. Unless somebody can quietly come to you in a way that's very loving and trustworthy, you're, you're not interested. You want a victory. There you are, Scorpio King, right there. You really do have... You know exactly what you want. You have laser vision. You're not going to put up with anything that just doesn't meet your standards for love. Why do we have the Eight of Cups here twice? Uh, for some of you, you want to walk into the past. You'd like to go back to a time earlier to see if you could change the destiny of a relationship. I'm not seeing that you can. I don't think that there's anything that you could have done differently. But I feel for some of you, you're having remorse and regret and longing from, for someone from the past. Why do we have temperance? Why is it hidden? Three of Wands. You thought there was somebody who was your destiny. And when it didn't work out, it's been hard for you to shake them as the person you wanted to be with. Yep, you're still manifesting them. You're manifesting that energy. Somebody who breadcrumbed you and somebody who was uh, who betrayed you emotionally in some way. There was a really rough ending, or an ending you didn't deserve. An ending that looks like it came about because you set a standard with the Queen of Swords and the Justice card. Why are you in this energy, Scorpio, of this umbrella over your head that has rain in it? Things are going too slowly. So you're really tired. You're tired of waiting is what I'm seeing. Let's see. Oh, the Sun card. We still have, you might have met someone with the, the Venus and Mars and Leo. But as we enter Leo season, this is new love coming in. The Sun card, somebody who's fun, somebody who's full of laughter, who loves to be outside. We're seeing the, it might be an Aquarius. You are, <laughs> you're about to date somebody who's kind of very, somebody who's very intellectual, who's very smart, who seems to wear a facade, but they really aren't. They let themselves be known. The Four of Swords says that healing really begins in earnest here as you start to spend time having more fun with someone that you think is marriage quality. Good, good for you. What is the Seven of Swords here in the heart space? You feel as though you have a sword stuck in your heart. And it is about a betrayal. Somebody who lied. Devil energy. Okay, so here we have the lesson is that you've learned is that you are not going to be uh, tethered by devil energy. Toxic energy. Somebody who had a drinking problem. Somebody who had some sort of uh, mood-altering issue and who is very immature. So you're not going to, you're really staying away from that. You're keeping yourself at a higher level. You'd rather have somebody who was, um, you know, really super smart, somebody who knows what they want, somebody who's more intentional in their life 
than this energy with the devil, with the toxicity. The Four of Coins says that you're just going to stay put. You're not really looking for anything. You're holding on to what you have. Some of you are suffering some depression, some sadness uh, at this time. It does show that for many of you, you're definitely in your feels. That is Pisces energy. A lot of you are having a lot of dreams, and it could be dreams about the past. We see the Four of Cups here. And the cups are empty here, but there is love here. So, you know, you're wondering that if you thought about the old relationship differently, if it would have helped. But the answer is actually no. You know, you, you had to move away from this. You need to move away from the memories of the past, Scorpio. So, you know, you guys are super smart. You're super capable. You're the phoenix rising from the ashes, so you're probably the most powerful of all the signs. We have that you loved somebody very much, and you've got the five of coins left in the cold. Okay. This Oh, the news came in fast and harsh, harshly. It looks like there were words spoken, and the relationship probably ended very abruptly. That left you in a situation where you had to hermit go within to really find the answers. The tower card, wow. So you really are not over. Scorpio, you know, you guys really have a long memory. But nine of, nine of wands, you have fire in your belly. Okay, so let's see what the page of pentacles is doing here. Ace of cups, new love coming in. There you go. There it is, Scorpio. It could be somebody younger. It could be somebody who has children. The Judgment card. Oh, good. I'm so happy. So happy to see Judgment for you. Judgment card is coming in. Really stepping into the love. Being willing to accept it. Being open to it. Making that Judgment call. That's an inheritance almost. Ah, there we get the inheritance card, the Ten of Coins. Legacy, marriage. Oh my gosh, Scorpio, look at you. Virgo energy, Scorpio energy. Uh, water sign energy. The Page of Pentacles is typically Virgo. Somebody who's very, very conscientious. A lot of you may be focusing on children or family, but I'm getting a lot of happiness, a lot of harmony. Look at that. I'm so happy for you. Okay. What do we have here? We have the Six of Swords. You're in kind of a defensive energy, but it's it's okay. Actually, that's supposed to be here. So you're feeling a little bit defensive. You're certainly going to stand in your power. You know, you'll invest when you're ready and when you think somebody deserves it. You're giving up the burdens of codependency. Uh, for many of you, you're tired of just eat, drink, and be merry. You want something of substance. So we're seeing this beautiful energy. Look at that, the lover's card with a guardian angel. This is the only deck that I own that has the two lovers with a big guardian angel in between holding their hands and protecting you, Scorpio. Fantastic. My gosh. You are divinely protected. That is Gemini energy. Somebody's coming in. It could be a Scorpio Virgo, but it could be any sign. All right. A win-win outcome is forecast for you, Scorpio. Let's look and see what the Shaman's Dream Oracle has for you for advice. All right. So let's see what we have for advice. resonating whale song listen for your song and adaptability woodwives so it really is about you know allowing yourself to immerse yourself in a situation that is trustworthy very loving very grounded very powerful energy scorpio what a beautiful reading for you take care it's been a joy thank you for watching bye-bye